G'day cheeky dogs, we're gonna be breaking down the episode onesies today. Onesies! Oh, you really shouldn't have. With all the hidden details, references, extra behind the scenes information that we know about this episode, and of course, Brandy. <sighs> it's all good, Brandy. Everything to do with Brandy that we know what's going on, and maybe some of the parallels between this episode and Baby Race that you might have missed. Maybe you just saw something you wanted. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? Of course though, if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below, as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications, so you know whenever I release any Bluey content. But let's just jump straight into this episode. We're gonna focus on Brandy first, so let's roll the intro. G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Now something really interesting with Brandy is that her situation is based off someone in real life that Joe Brum knows. I won't talk about the specifics of, you know, where, where it was based on and all that, but who it was based on but um and it's really interesting because in this interview that he did with the gotta be done podcast with mary and kate he really mentioned the fact that he thinks that parenting doesn't just start once the baby's born it starts when you decide to have the baby and that's filled with a lot of heartache and joy and brandy is the representation basically of the heartache of when it doesn't go the way that you want it to go Amen. And of course, this is the first time that we've ever seen the idea of infertility really being shown on Bluey. There has, of course, been mentions before about miscarriage with the episode of the show, and Joe Brum has confirmed that both a quote in the book as well as in person in interviews as well. That same Gotta Be Done podcast, he also talked about it. I don't know if you feel the same, but other episodes have touched on other aspects like the show. So, you know, Bluey is about the whole experience of parenthood. Um, and sometimes that is goes not quite the way that you think it's going to go. So whilst we talked about miscarriage, infertility specifically has never been talked about before until now. And the scene with Brandy like reaching out to Bingo and all of that, that has a lot of like extra hidden Easter eggs in it that I'm going to talk about again further on in the video. But let's just go back to Brandy herself as a character outside of all of that and everything that we know and seen about her so far. Next time I come over, I'm not bringing any onesies. So we did see her for the very first time at the start of season three in the picture on the wall next to Chili. So she is the older sister. There's a lot of theories as well about whether or not it was her in the episode Fairy Tale, although I do personally believe it was Chili, but I do have a theory video for that as well. She was of course mentioned in Bluey's big play, the live stage show, when we first find out that she even exists in the first place and that her and Chili have had this massive argument that means they haven't talked in years. Specifically, four years we find out. I hope they fit. I wasn't sure how much they'd grown in, um, Four years. So if we put this on like a timeline, it obviously happened when Bluey is around like two years oldish and Bingo has most likely just been born. Four years ago. And her looking so much like Brandy kind of was the catalyst that made Brandy just not be able to talk to Chili anymore. It was too tough for her to deal with it. Who do I look like? You look just like you. And again, I've talked more in depth about that in my theory videos about Brandy and her infertility and what exactly happened as well. So I'll make sure I have that in the description box down below as well as up here. Now we also have Brandy reading the title card for this episode. <laughs> this episode of Bluey is called Onesies. And her voice actor is Rose Byrne, a famous Australian actress who lives over here in America and has done quite a lot of different things. Maybe most notable for children is that she was in the Peter Rabbit movies. This episode also had a parody poster done. So Ludo Studios, a lot of the animators tend to do like parody posters for movie posters for each of these episodes. And the one for this one, I'll talk about in a little bit, but specifically in the details, it has Brandy's last name and it is Cattle, as in Cattle Dog, which is the breed, of course, that Bluey and her whole family are. They are blue healers and red healers, but all together they are cattle dogs. So it's kind of cool to find out that Brandy's last name is Cattle, which means that maybe Chili's maiden name is Cattle, or if Brandy has a partner, maybe their name is Cattle. Die out of it, Cattle Dog! Now we do have some traditional Easter eggs in here as well. We have a long dog next to the front door in its own little cheetah onesie as well, and the tennis ball is also there as well next to the front door. We also have some Star Wars and Jurassic Park references in this. So the Star Wars ones in particular are very much the idea of like you must become one with the force and the force is with you and of course bingo becoming one with her onesie one with the force she sort of becomes one with the onesie what i am one with the force and the force is with me 
As well as when Brandy yells out, it's a trap. It's a trap. Brandy, are you showing a fly? Run, it's a trap. It's a trap. And then even Bandit at the very end when he's meant to be like dead technically. Dad, help. I can't, I've been eaten. Rules are rules. He's kind of doing like the force ghost kind of situation where he's giving advice from beyond about how to become one with your own onesie. So I loved those references to Star Wars. You have to become one with your onesie. Now, as I mentioned, of course, Jurassic Park also has some references. When they're stuck in the Jeep, it's very much like Jurassic Park when they're like hiding in the Jeep from all those dinosaurs and they're like trying to attack them. Now, talking about movies, as I mentioned, there was the movie parody poster that Nick Reese did and he has put it on his social medias. But this is a parody of the Rob Schneider movie, The Animal, and I love just all the little details that they added to try and make this as similar as possible. Now, let's talk about some of the things that Chili brings up in this episode, specifically her mum. Me and my sister Brandy made this dance up for our mum's birthday when we were kids. This is the very first time we even hear about Chili's mom. We saw her in the photos and we didn't know anything about her except for the fact that the girls did this dance for her. Of course though we do actually get to meet her in a future episode, Dragon. Who is that? That's my mum. Your grandma. Not part of this release, it's part of the next 10 episodes that are only available in Australia. I'm so sorry, but if you are not in Australia, just like me, you can also use a VPN to access it. I am not sponsored at all, but I do have a VPN affiliate link with NordVPN. That's what I use so I can watch all of the new Bluey episodes. So if you would like to watch even more new Bluey, I'll have it pinned in the comment section down below with the NordVPN link as well as like the tutorial video on how to use it as well. And there's like a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out. Check out some other really cool Aussie content as well. And yeah, just use that. But going back to Chili though, another little cute thing though from this dance that she does for her mum that her and Brandy both do is the little hip wig that she does and that's also the hip wiggle that she does in the intro song as well. I do also love Chili's just like mum joke about how there's like plenty of food in the car because of course kids like just have snacks everywhere and there's always bits and pieces left in the car. Okay so let's talk now about that infertility scene with Brandy and the parallels that it has to the episode Baby Race. This episode of Bluey is called Baby Race. In the episode Baby Race we hear Bingo doing the voiceover and saying that Bluey is maybe just reaching out for something that she wants and we see Bluey's hands reaching out. Maybe you just saw something you wanted. Whereas in this episode, Bluey is doing the voiceover about how Brandy wants something and we see Brandy's hands reaching out as well. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? And the parallels between those two is just amazing. Like it's so incredible that they not only did it with the words, but with the scenes and the hands reaching out. Like it's just such an emotional scene. When Brandy's also looking up to the sky as well, the clouds there represent the picture of a mum, as well as with two children of different ages, a bigger one and a smaller one. This of course can represent so many things, anything from being her own mother with her and Chili. But I think specifically it's meant to sort of represent Chili with Bluey and Bingo. And then you see the solo bird just flying through them, which is of course Brandy. And I feel like someone the internet someone mentioned the type of bird it was and that it like represents infertility can't find it though and I'm sure it's out there somewhere so if anyone does find out what the type of bird it is please let me know in that comment section down below now of course once Brandy and Chili do make up they cut back up to the cloud scene and now it's just the two clouds a bigger one and a smaller one again to represent the big sister little sister dynamic between Chili and Brandy which I think is just such a beautiful way to sort of find that kind of closure with those cutscenes. I mean I'm sorry it's been so long oh it's just hard seeing you all you know? I know. Now we do have a few other extra little details. We find out that Bluey's favorite animal when she was two was a zebra, but is now cheetahs. The bicycle that Bingo rides you can buy in real life, but also she crashes it into the mailbox. And there's a continuity with this because in the next episode, Trades, Sparky fixes the mailbox that she crashed into. I also love the reference to So Rude when Bingo does it in the episode Bingo to the fridge, but this time it's Bluey doing it. So rude. <sighs> And again, just the tiny little details of when the girls were so nervous to meet Brandy at the start, but when her mum hugs her and her tail wags in front of their faces to show that she's really happy, it breaks that tension with the girls and they laugh and they become happy too. Hey Brandy. Hi Chili. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. So this episode, all in all, is just such a roller coaster of happiness and sadness all at once. And I love it. Five out of five long dogs. I can't fault season 3B. It is such an incredible bunch of episodes. But Cheeky dogs let me know in that comment section down below how many long dogs out of five would you give this episode and what was your favorite easter egg about it as well while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever i release any more bluey content but until then i have picture cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and i will see you all in another video
Bye.